Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at an introduction to sinusoidal signals. Sinusoidal signals. In time domain, a sinusoidal signal can be defined as follows. x of t is equal to amplitude a multiplied by cos of omega naught t plus phi. So this is representation of a basic sinusoidal signal. That is, it has an amplitude a frequency omega naught and phase phi. Now assuming that this curve represents a sinusoidal signal. The amplitude a is the maximum value of this signal that is this is amplitude a and that is the value of the signal say for example here that is the value of the signal at omega naught t plus phi equal to 0 that is when this sum is equal to 0 cos of 0 is 1 so the value of the signal is a so at this point the value of the signal is a that is the amplitude now the frequency omega naught is related to the time period t naught that is the distance from this 0 to this 0 that is the time period t naught. So the frequency omega naught is related to this time period as 2 pi by t naught. And at time t equal to 0, the value of the signal is given by a cos phi. That is at t equal to 0 at this point. So for ex in this case, this phi is the initial phase. In this case, this phi is the phase of the signal. And of course, the x axis is the time axis. Now, let us look at the properties of this sinusoidal signal. The first property is periodicity. That is, a sinusoidal signal is a periodic signal. It is x of t is equal to x of t plus t naught, where t naught is the fundamental period. We can easily verify this property by replacing time t with t plus t naught in the definition of the sinusoidal signal. That is, we replace t with, in this definition, we replace t with t plus t naught and we have a of a times cos of omega naught into t plus t naught plus phi and this should be equal to a times cos of omega naught t plus phi plus omega naught multiplied by t naught. But since omega naught is equal to 2 pi by t naught, this is basically equal to 2 pi. The, mod, the product is equal to 2 pi. So, this is equal to a times cos of 2 pi plus omega naught plus phi. And since we know that 2 pi is a period of the cosine function, we can rewrite this as a times cos of omega naught t plus phi. Because 2 pi is a period of the cosine signal. 2 pi is a period. Therefore, a sinusoidal signal is a periodic signal. Sinusoids are periodic. The second property is time shift by a value say t naught is equivalent to a phase change. Now let us look at what is the quantity of the phase when it that is equivalent to the time shift t naught that is we have original signal a times cos of omega naught multiplied by t plus t naught that is we shift the signal by a value t naught and of course we have the initial phase phi and of course we have the phase phi then we have a times cos of omega naught t plus omega naught t naught plus phi we can clearly see that the phase difference between this signal and the original signal a cos of omega naught t plus phi that is the phase difference between these two signals is given by delta phi is equal to omega naught t naught that is a time shift of t naught is equivalent to a phase shift of omega naught into t naught now let us look at some more examples illustrating the concept of phase for example if a signal has zero phase that is it is represented by a times cos of omega naught and the value of phi is equal to 0 then the signal looks like the following. 
that is at time t equal to 0 signal has the maximum value a that is signal is equal to the amplitude a at time t equal to 0 so this is a sinusoidal signal with zero phase that is it has zero phase now consider a signal that has phase equal to pi by 2 that is a phase difference of 90 degrees then the initial value of the signal is equal to 0 and the initial value of the signal is actually equal to 0 that is at t equal to 0 signal is also equal to 0 that is this is actually a representation of a sinusoidal si signal defined as a times cos of omega naught t minus pi by 2 that is at t equal to 0 we have a times cos of minus pi by 2 and cos of minus pi by 2 or cos of plus pi by 2 is basically equal to 0 so the initial value is 0 so this is a signal with phase equal to pi by 2 pi by 2 phase it is the phase difference between these two signals is 90 degrees and now moreover when the phase difference or the phase change is equal to omega naught into t naught is equal to pi by 2 then clearly the time difference is equal to pi by 2 times omega naught that is the time shift of the signal is equal to pi by 2 omega naught or in other words it is equal to pi by 2 times 2 pi divided by t naught that is t naught goes into the numerator so the time shift is equal to t naught by 4 that is P, the fundamental period t naught divided by 4 thus a phase shift of 90 degrees is equivalent to time shift of t naught by 4 so the green signal is the, the signal in green is basically the signal with zero phase zero and the signal in red is basically the signal in with phase equal to 90 degrees that is pi by 2 radians so the phase shift between these two signals is equivalent to pi by 2 or the time shift is equivalent to t naught by 4 that is this gap is basically equal to t naught by 4 and note that the maximum value is given by the value a now let us look at some more properties of sinusoids cosines are even symmetric and sines are odd symmetric that is cos of omega naught multiplied by t plus t naught is equal to cos of omega naught multiplied by minus t minus t naught that means the sign of the argument that is sign of that is the sign of this time value that is t plus t naught doesn't really matter for cosines that is cos of omega naught into t plus t naught is equal to cos of omega naught multiplied by minus t minus t naught because of the even symmetry of cosine signals so similarly signs are odd symmetric that is sine of say omega naught multiplied by t plus t naught is equal to minus of sine of omega naught minus t minus t naught or in other words sine of minus omega naught into t plus t naught is equal to minus sine of omega naught into t plus t naught so that is odd symmetry that is this is even symmetry and finally the cosines are related to exponential functions as follows that is the sinusoids and exponential function that is complex exponential function has the following relationship that is a times cos of omega naught t plus phi that is this sinusoid is equal to the real part of complex exponential defined by exponential of j times omega naught t plus phi so the real part of this complex exponential is basically equal to a times cos of omega naught t plus phi of course there is an amplitude a here thus to summarize the sinusoidal signals has basically three components the first one is amplitude second one is frequency and the third one is phase and some of the properties of sinusoidal signals are that it is periodic that is the value of the signal at t is also equal to the value of the signal at t plus t naught and time shift in sinusoids is equivalent to phase shift it is time shift of 
value t naught is equal to a phase shift of omega naught multiplied by t naught. That is, for example, a phase difference of phi by 2 radians is equivalent to a time shift of t naught by 4. And finally, the sinusoids have symmetry property. That is, cosines are even symmetric, sines are odd symmetric. Thanks for watching.